Yes, uh, we just went to CPS and we had a complaint. Someone uh, filed a complaint on you. You, you still stay with it? Yes, ma'am. Child Protective Services. And uh, someone called in for Brain Acres. Is that, is that your current ad address? Okay, and I'm, I'm going to let you talk to my supervisor. You know, he has more information. Uh, you know, he can give you more detail on, you know, what's about to happen. So, uh, hello? Okay, hold on here. Just one second. Hello, Ms. Brown. How are you doing? This is Billy Scott with Child Protective Services. Uh, we have an open file, a case that has been opened against you. Uh, you still uh, reside in the Green Acre residential area? Okay, well somebody apparently called that's around you saying your, ch your children have been outside without shoes and socks. Shoes and socks? Yes, ma'am. Do you know of anyone that you have been uh, having problems with that may have called? Making no, I just moved to my room. I know a little girl was like yesterday, but she had her shoes and socks on yesterday. I mean, I mean, let me let me just run down the track. We have eight. We have five or six counts against you. If whether they are true or not, I just want you to listen to them. And when I'm done, uh -huh. when I'm done, we'll we'll remain conversating about the situation. Okay. Okay. One is the one with. The the kids were not uh, properly clothed. They're outside with no shoes and socks. Okay, two, they say you don't have heat in your trailer. Hold on, dude. Don't interrupt me. Let me. Let me. Okay. Okay. Number, number three, there's domestic violence in the home. Okay, so you've been, y'all, y'all been tightening over there. Number, number four. Children left unattended. Okay, five. They said they're not being properly nutrition. Yes, sir. In other words, they're saying you're not feeding children everything. Uh, this, the person lives in Green Acres with you. Uh, we're really not supposed to reveal that type of information, but. Uh, the person that called in, they volunteered. They volunteered their name and where they lived and stuff. Up. So I, apparently, I was under the impression, ma'am. Oh, I will get to all that in just a minute. I need to verify your social. Let me get the last four of your social security number to verify that, that this is Luana Strong. Five five zero nine. Okay, I need your address and zip code. Zip code, please. Okay. Now listen. This is not. This is not saying that you you are guilty. We're just getting in contact with you. I don't want you to have any harsh feelings towards us or anything. Okay. Uh, now we can get to the. Now that I know it's you. Do you know uh, Jesse Ware? Jesse Ware. Okay. Uh huh. You know Jesse Ware? Well, he called in. And say that uh, I mean, we don't know how true it is, but we're going to schedule a walkthrough for tomorrow. Will you be at home? Well, if you just leave that, who, who's, yeah. who's going to watch your kids while you're at work? Okay, that's who you were fighting with. Well, ma'am, look, I don't need you to calm down. Don't holler at me, or we're just going over. Okay. 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 Well, let's. Well, uh, I'm gonna need you to calm down and let me talk. Okay. And you just listen. You get your pen and paper to write down whatever you need. But give me just a second. Let, let me just a second, and I'm gonna let me pull your case up. Okay. What was the I said there were five counts against you. Okay. Whether they whether they were accurate, you know, or not. Okay. Nutrition. Uh, the first one was the child went properly clothed. Oh, properly clothed. 
Yes, yes. And the second one was you, they said you didn't have uh, you didn't have adequate heat in your house. And the third one is the children were left unattended. The fourth one was the domestic violence. And the okay. fifth one was the nutrition. Okay, okay. Are you feeding those babies? I am. Okay. okay. Well, listen, well, listen Miss Alice, listen, Miss Strong, what we're going to do, we're going to come over tomorrow and do a walkthrough. Will, you, will, will he be there tomorrow? Will he be there tomorrow? Yes. No, it really doesn't matter. I just need to be able to walk through the house. Okay, that's fine. You can. You sure can. See if I smell any marijuana or anything like that. Okay. Oh, do I have that against me? No, there ain't a fire thing. Okay. No, there ain't a fire thing, but we're going we're gonna to make an adequate house check when we come by. The children okay. are our, the children are our main concern. Okay, so if I were you, I mean, I didn't want to be, you know, because I was raised in the, in the suburbs and stuff, you know, if I was you, if somebody told me who called in on me on CPS, I mean, I, I, I'd probably call them and, I, yeah, but, but what I'm telling you, I'm not saying, that, I'm not saying to retaliate or anything, but I'd at least call Jesse, I'd at least, call, I'd at least call Jesse Ware and see why in the world would you have somebody prank call me. <laughs> we, we love you. <laughs> What's up, cousin? What's up, cousin? What's up, Wazzy? We on to something. <laughs> yes, you just been pranked by we on to something.